Hi guys, kumusta po kayo? This is Architect Aris Basa and I'm happy to be with you again in this uh, episode of Revit Live. So, Revit 2024 is out and we've done our review earlier, a couple of weeks back. And I'm so happy that uh, we've had lots of views and I hope more will get to watch that video. And uh, as we continue, we are... Uh, studying and checking out the contents of Revit 2024. What you see on my screen now is a mechanical template because I'm planning to create um, sort of a cooling system or for a building, but I had a surprise. What that surprise will be, you'll get to know it in just a few minutes. So usually uh, I would start with a, with a template. And so I started with a mechanical template, mechanical default template, because that would be um, having the setup for the floor plans and plumbing plans as well. And I've checked the uh, contents, the families that are here. We already have the uh, AHUs, boiler, some pumps, radiator, VAV units. And for the piping system, I've seen all the piping system are here. So it's uh, good actually. But um, we've heard that there are some surprises in uh, Revit 2024. And that is when you are loading a new family okay, from the library. So uh, I wanted to bring in say a few of your furnitures from the um, uh, architectural libraries, let's say some casework and uh, some furnitures. So uh, I'm just in the architecture tab right now. I click on component. So that's what we usually do. And hello, the family. So this goes to the library of Revit 2024. So under Autodesk in your program data, You'll have the Revit 2024 folder and then libraries, and then you'll have the uh, English folder. So let's go to the English folder folder where, where most of our uh, libraries are content, most of our contents are, are placed. Go to the English and US folder. So this is what you will see. Shocking to many, uh, but we're not really shocked. You have the road analysis, which is already there. You have the structural precast. And there's this one Revit family that says, are you looking for content? Go to autodesk.com slash Revit. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to follow it. But of course, if you don't have the time and you don't have uh, um, the chance to download all of these families, what you can do is you can basically go back to your Autodesk folder. If you have previous versions of Revit, let's say if you have RVT23, which I have, and I've already downloaded the contents of that, you can just go there and you'll have the library and go to the English, you'll have the folders content. The only, back, the only thing that is uh, not so good here is, for example, I get on family, I get, say, a bed, on bed from, for the hospital, click open. It will always upgrade, you know, but this time it's, it's a bit fast, actually. So when you, when you download something, upgrade is fast. It's faster than usual, actually. So let's say, let's bring in a few more component. Let's load a few more. Let's say, let's get um, for the uh, storage. Let's get some of these entertainment center open. So it, it's quite fast really, it doesn't really take much, but maybe it depends on the speed of your computer as well. But still it is somehow, somehow um, annoying that it would be you don't have the uh, 
it would be annoying that you don't have the Revit 2024 folder. So let's follow as um, suggested. So let's go to our let's go to our uh, account. Just click that, click your name there, and it will bring you to your Autodesk account. Four. It is the with 2024 content. Okay, so so we're searching in real time. So, so the US English content, there it is for Revit 2024. Okay, click that. It's uh, 1.9 GB. Just make sure you have enough space in your computer because it has the Imperial and the metric. I don't mind downloading both, so I'll go for this. You never know when you get a project which is in Imperial units, so it's still good to have the Imperial units loaded in your library. Here it is, just run. It's now extracting. Install it. So installation is now complete. Click finish. Do we need a restart? I don't think we need a restart. So we're good. Let's minimize this and we're back to our rivet. And so let's now try to bring in a few more components. Let's click component and no component and let's load a family. Now this time we'll go to our metric library, which automatically goes, when I click my metric library shortcut here, it automatically goes to this folder of the 2024 uh, library, right? So I click on the library right there. I have my English, US. Now let's look at the furnitures. So we have actually almost the same furnitures. So let's just get flat screen TV. We still have the same TV. Click open. So this time we don't need to upgrade. We don't need to update the recent version. You know that once you have downloaded Revit 2024, you need to also download the content that goes the same with the similar versions of Revit, like 23 and 22. You have to download the content separately because uh, as you know, we, we come from different regions. You only need a certain content if you are using the US uh, library, if you want to use the Australian library, want to use the Chinese library, Korean or Japanese library, that's a different download. So, so that's our video for today. And I hope to see you on the next videos here in Revit Live with Aris Pasta.